Oh, huh. No, 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 no. <gasps> hey, you guys, this is Cherry Blossoms, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, episode 10, I believe. Uh, so, sorry about the very uh, quick episode last week. So, I didn't have a lot of time, like I said before. But here we are, about to fight the boss, and I have much more time now. So, I won't have to rush or stop early. Oh, no, I should. Ah, no! <laughs> Okay, let's let's get a fairy. I think I'll be fine, but please have another fairy, please. I didn't realize. No. Wait, is there really no other fairy? Oh my gosh, that's the only fairy. Oh, oh, huh? No, 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 no. <gasps> I... I'm... really dumb. Okay, let's... Uh, let's just forget about that. What happened? Nothing just happened. Nothing at all. Oh my gosh. Okay, boss time. <sighs> that fairy, though. Okay, so classic Zelda strategy just uh, run around for a bit in circles. I'm pretty sure I have to. Yeah? Yeah, that's what I thought. Huh, huh. Da, 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 da. Yeah, he's pretty easy. Okay, ready to get off. This is a classic Zelda strategy just run around in circles until you know what to do. Ouch. And make sure to use the item, of course. Oh, right, it's protected. Alright, ouch. Oh no! Ah! Okay. Ha! What? Not yet. Ouch. Nope, stop, please. Wow, he runs really fast like that. That's kind of nice. Ha! No! Ha! No? Aha! I got him this time. Alright. Up we go. Yeah. Already? That was so fast. Okay, one second. Let me just try and get these out of the way. They're annoying. And they hurt me. And the lava's growing. Okay, I'm sure if I just stay at the edges, I'll be fine. So, we'll do that. Get rid of the fire at the edges, please. Whoop. Perfect. I even got a heart out of that. Okay, so he's going to be protected for a little bit. But as soon as he's not... Aha! That was a nice quick one. Oh. Cool. Pretty easy. Gonna run off. Alright. I'll say one more one more uh, go at it and probably be good. Yeah, heart. See we don't need a fairy. We don't need that stupid fairy. Okay. Hug. Well, I'll just keep running around here and then huh. What? Was that spike in the way? Is that why? Oh gosh, I didn't was not paying attention. Hup. Awesome. Got him. The last round, hopefully. Oh gosh, okay. Um, no, I guess not. Wow, he's taking a while, this guy. Run around, ouch. Okay. Oop. Ah, please, rocks. Alright. Okay. Maybe it's just one more time? I don't know, he's taking a while. Okay. I must say though, his design is really cool. I do like that. Ouch. Ugh. See, as simple as he is, his design is very cool, so... I guess that kinda makes up for a little bit. Oh, oh gosh, I was not smart. Well, at least it respawned me really quickly. Please die! Awesome! Is this stage 2 or is he actually dead? Ooh, I think he's dead. Woo! Good job, you guys. Ooh. Yay! You got the fire element. Flames bring light to darkness and warmth to all. 
If I am, it's the embodiment of that power. Ugh, fire element. There we go. Awesome. Heart piece? Yeah, that's what I thought. You got a heart container. Your life energy has increased and been replenished. Thank you. Let's leave through this green portal. Very fitting for our hero. Oh, that was hot. <laughs> it was so hot, I thought my fibers would catch fire. Ah, but it's over now. I suppose we should go back and speak to Malari. Will do. So let's go back there. Um, Alright, we can go right here. How convenient. Woo! Manage form, please, Elslo. Okay. In we go. Hello. Oh, you made it back safely. Fantastic. We were all starting to get worried. I think your sword might be ready. The boss was just putting the finishing touches on it a second ago. Thank you. Woo! Hello. Wow, that was fast work. But not so fast that I didn't finish your sword. Here, take a look. I call this the new bl er, I call this new blade the white sword. Thanks, man. Oh, you got the white sword. It's beautiful and oh, wait, it's beautiful white blade sparkles with light. There you go. You can put away your grandfather's sword now. Once you fuse it, that is him, right? Okay, <laughs> with the power of the elements, it'll become a sacred blade. The forest elder no doubt told you this part, but. If you want to infuse your sword, you must go to the Elemental Sanctuary. The Sanctuary is a strange realm, realm, trapped between two worlds. It is the bridge between the Minish world and the human world. The doorway to the Sanctuary opens only once every hundred years. You'll find that door hidden within Hyrule Castle. Once the blade has been filled with the power of the Four Elements, you should be able to break the curse on your princess. I know you can do it. After all, you made short work of that human mind. Let me tell you about a shortcut you can use to get down from the mountain. You'll find it right in front of the entrance of the mine you just explored. Just follow that and you'll be good in no time. Good luck. Thank you. Ting along, tong along, the secret sword is done. Ah, that's cute. Ting along, tong along, the secret sword. Okay, you just said the same thing. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Thank you, Malari. Will you say anything now that I'm leaving? Ah, dig along, tong along, digging holes for kinstones. Oh, I didn't know you guys farmed kinstones. That's interesting. So let's transform back, and let's go. So right, shortcut down is this way, so let's just run along, I don't want to deal with these guys. And there should be, yes, there's a rock climbing thing up here. Did we already check this out? Oh right, it's the one with the double, yeah, okay, we can't do that yet. So let's just climb down then. Whee! With a 300 rupees. I don't know what that was. So you can just ignore that. I'm sorry. I regret everything. Get away. Alright. So what is... Oh! Uh... What? I don't know what I'm doing. Alright. So let's check this mushroom thing out. I didn't expect to actually fall down. <laughs> well. So let's go. And get away from us, please. Oh wow, you died quickly. Huh, I guess this lucky sword, lucky, white sword is better. Oh, we've already been here. So let's just jump down. Huh. Yeah, they die in one hit. That's awesome. Ouch. <laughs> Alright. Mount Crenel's base. That was fast. Okay, cool. Let's leave. We'll have to come back here eventually for kinstones and stuff, but uh, for now, we're good. Actually, do you want to trade kinstones, sir? No, it's someone else, wasn't it? Hmm. Well, I'm sure we can go back to him some other day. What's up here? Oh, right, we can't do that. Alright, time to go back to Hyrule Castle, then. Can I flip you? Huh. Oh, okay. Huh. Nope, never mind, I can't. Just die. <laughs> uh, die! Die! Alright, we're quite violent in uh, this game. Do you have anything to say, sir? Their monster's out. Well, we already defeated the thing, so it doesn't even matter anymore. Ha! Alright. Um. Hyrule Castle. I do like the music in this game. It's quite nice. Actually, I always like the music in all Zelda games, so I don't know what I'm going on about. Ouch. No! Okay. Hyrule Castle. 
Yay. I guess we can just... Mm. Are you sure? Oh, are you sure I look alright? I never know what to wear for formal occasions. Aslo, you're a hat. You look fine. Alright. Oops. Uh. As soon as we get into Hero Castle, just kill everything, decimate. Alright. Um, I guess we can just go to the king? Yeah, because he knows about this, right? So he should know where the portal is. So, uh, we might have to go downstairs, because that seems like a new thing. But, can we speak to you? Oh, you want to trade kinstones? You want to fuse kinstones in this dire time? Well, I can see no harm in it. <laughs> You're weird, king. Daltus? King Daltus? The two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. What? <gasps> Back in Minish Woods, eh? Ooh, a gold chest. Probably money. So we'll have to spend stuff in Hyrule Town. Ah, perfect fit. My, but that's nice. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. Oh, right, I didn't actually talk to you. Oh, Cherry! You've returned. Welcome. Did you gather the elements? What is sanctuary, you say? Why, I've heard of no such thing in my castle. Really? What about you? Hmm, a sanctuary. That was not his voice. I don't remember what it was. So this is his voice now. You know, I do recall a story my grandmother once told me long ago. She said she saw a doorway appear in the palace courtyard as a child. If this door does indeed open up only once a century, it may be open even now. As with the Picori themselves, the door will be visible only to the eyes of a child. We might have walked past it recently and never even known it was there. Alright. You want to fuse kinstones? Sure, why not? <laughs> He's like, eh, that doesn't even matter. Potho? That's a cool name. The two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. So, Potho, what can you give me? Where is that? Okay, obviously near Hyrule castle. Another gold chest. Oh. Alright. They fit perfectly. I didn't expect that. Maybe something good will happen now. Like Zelda. We'll be saved. Even turned to stone by Batty's curse, her eyes are filled with life. Hurry. Save her. Alright. So they don't know where it is. <laughs> but they said maybe in the courtyard. Uh, also I'm curious, where does this lead? Because this was not open before, I'm pretty sure. What can we find? What goodies can we find? Ooh. Anything? Only an entrance. What is this? Oh, okay. This is definitely the right place. Ooh, it's glowing. Cherry, look! See how that doorway glows? Could that be the door that leads to the sanctuary? Nobody in the castle seems to be able to see it but you and me. Let's go, quickly! Yes! Elemental Sanctuary. Whoa, this is cool music. Whoa. Oh. I really like this music. So this is the elemental sanctuary then. This is where we can infuse your blade with the power of the elements. Yes, there seems to be a pedestal for your sword right in the middle there. Oh, I realize this has probably been going on for a while, so right after this, we'll end it, but... Ah... <sighs> Our sword! Ooh. It looks like the Master Sword! Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Not quite there yet. <laughs> powers of the earth and fire elements have infused your blade. Whoa. Ah, this is where we learned the double thing that I was talking about. Hmm, hmm, let's see if I can't read that tablet for you. Fill your sword with power and walk over the glowing tile. Hmm, perhaps it refers to those flashing spots on the floor around you. Well, what are you waiting for? Try it, Cherry. Alright. So. Ooh. And then, what? What? Uh, 
Oh, I see. Whoa, you just split in two. So this is the power of the white sword. I guess you can double yourself like that anytime you see those panels. And we know where else we've seen those panels. Up in Mount Crenel, so we'll have to pay that place a visit again. But, wow, that's really cool, and I love this music a lot. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. And, whoa, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye